I'm Ralph Grizzle, the avid cruiser. For more than two decades, I've cruised the seven seas on some of the world's most luxurious ships. I write about my experiences on avidcruiser.com. My goal is to help people like you make informed decisions about your cruise vacations. Join me today in an exciting new mini-series as I explore the most popular cruise destinations around the world. My name is Ralph Grizzle, and I am the Avid Cruiser. Monaco is a playground for the wealthy and the well-known, but it's also the staging ground for some wonderful experiences here along the French Riviera. Whether you choose to spend your day visiting the hilltop villages of Ez and St. Paul de Vence, touring the Villa Rothschild, or strolling the old town of Nice, or simply spending time here on the rock, you're gonna have a great time in Monaco. So if you're ready, let's get going. Part of the Principality of Monaco, Monte Carlo is named for the mountain on which the town stands. My first stop was to see the changing of the guard at the Prince's Palace. Next, I visited the Oceanographic Museum, which exhibits Monaco's rich maritime history. I took a stroll through the Princess Grace Rose Garden and made my way to the magnificent Monaco Cathedral, the final resting place of Monaco's beloved Princess Grace Kelly, who was killed in an auto crash in 1982. And of course, no visit to Monte Carlo is complete without a visit to the Monte Carlo Casino. St. Paul de Vence looks as though it came out of a fairy tale. The town is perched on a hill overlooking a beautiful valley. With my camera poised, I enjoyed strolling this medieval village. Around every corner, it seemed, it was a great photograph. It's no wonder that so many writers and artists discovered St. Paul de Vence in the 1920s and never left. The climate is sublime, the views are inspiring, and life in Nice is as good as it gets. Originally named by the ancient Greeks after the goddess Nike, Nice has been treasured and fought over ever since. If you're visiting the Old Town, you'll want to start in the morning at Nice's famous flower market. The atmosphere at this sprawling market is fun and lively, and the profusion of flowers is simply amazing. Villa Rothschild is situated on Cape Ferrat, a promontory that ranks as one of the most exclusive pieces of land on the Côte d'Azur. The daughter of a banker and major art collector fell in love with what was then an arid parcel of land. She saw its potential and created her masterpiece. The Baroness turned her villa into a collector's paradise, adorning it with porcelains, paintings by master artists, and valuable pieces of furniture. Ez has been defended, defeated, and even devastated. But today this hilltop village reigns victorious, especially among tourists, some who say it's the most beautiful village in all of France. The village of Ez goes up and up and up. But don't let the uphill grind put you off. Ez is an exercise in serendipity and worth every exertion. You never quite know what to expect around the next turn, but you can bet it will be something that captures your attention and captivates your imagination. I hope you've enjoyed the sampling of shore excursions we've been able to show you here from Monaco. There's a whole lot more to see and experience here on the French Riviera, but for that, you'll simply have to come for yourself. I'm Ralph Grizzle and I'll see you in the next beautiful destination. Thank you.